about an argon system. Generally, what an argon system is, really, it's an alternative gas inflation system for the suit. So it doesn't have to be argon. It can be air or argon. You know, obviously, argon is 50 times denser, so there is some benefit to putting argon into the suit. The size of the bottle you know, that I like to choose is either a low pressure 14, which is, runs about 2,000 PSI or 150 bar, because when you're filling from an argon system, you don't want to pump it through a booster. You just want to put it right into the bottle from the, you know, from the T or from the J bottle. So 2,000 pound system or 2,000 PSI system or a, a, a 150 bar system is the right choice. And the argon bottle that you're going to use or, or the alternative air source that you need for your suit is because you're running helium in the back gas and that's the main reason if you're running helium in the back gas you do not want to be filling off the helium into the suit you're going to need this system in the system again you've got a couple choices of bottle you've got the 14 the al14 or you've got yeah you see a six cubic feet you see it, it it's it's a one liter tank so the six cubic feet is really nice i like it for open ocean for short for short dives it's simply going to fit right up up on your system like this and then come on up. So it's going to be really easy. You can see there's multiple attaching systems. This system I like because I can just attach it to my to my waist strap. There's you know many different ideas of how to attach a bottle to to the um, to the, the plate itself. You also have an attachment system that goes onto the back gas tanks. Of course it's going to make it heavier and wider. So you want to be careful that you know you only use those in environments which you can adapt that to, meaning a big cave dive for you know eight hours might require a 14 cubic foot argon system, but a, a wreck dive for an hour out here in, in San Diego requires that's is all that's the only size you need. And like I says, it's nice and small and compact, so it's going to fit very very comfortably back here up, up against the back plate. As far as the regulator goes, I just like a simple first stage on, on, a, on, on the argon bottle. I like it to be DIN. Again, it doesn't have to be a, a 300 bar valve. It can be a 200 bar valve, a, a shorter valve like that, that system. It must have an OPV, okay, an overpressure valve, because again, if the first stage was to fail and bleed the intermediate pressure, you do not want that going into your suit and filling your suit. You actually want that pressure to get bled by this 160 psi 10 bar, uh, or a little more, it's about a 12 bar cracking effort of these OPVs. So you want to make sure that your, your, your argon system first stage <laughs> and hose length is the correct hose length to fit comfortably where the bottle will, will be, as well as has an OPV. And again, I like the DIN system that it just attaches right to the bottle.